Dear Joe, I'm sorry. You deserve more than a letter. And this right here, this cowardice, this letter, it's officially the worst thing I've ever done. But it's about me, Joe. It's not about you. I love you, Joe. I love that you are brilliant and brave, and no matter what you go through, you never let it hold you back. It makes you stronger and kinder. You made me kind. You loved me for exactly who I was, and I loved you. I'm gonna marry that girl. I love you. Maybe it's not fair to say that, but it's true. It's also true. I'm in love with Izzy. Don't want to find I've lost it all too scared to have no There was a part of me that always wondered, so always wanted to know, always felt like we left things unresolved, unfinished. So when Mayor needed all those letters, you I reached out to him. I reached out to Izzy and we started talking and it scared the crap out of me because it felt like no time had passed. Like Izzy and I were kind of frozen together in time, but now, now we're not. She's not. She's here in Kansas, on a farm in this incredible place in the middle of nowhere. And I never in a million years would think I belong here, but I do. And I can't lie to you and pretend the truth isn't the truth. But I love you, and I love Izzy. But if it was just me missing her, or nostalgia, or whatever, Just hope you love me back enough to let me take it. I didn't choose to dip. I need to give these kids the family you and I never had with barbecuing out on the back porch and soccer games and movie nights and book reports. When I told you I love you, I meant it. But Izzy has our kids, Joe. Our kids. And the way you and I grew up, I, I, I came to meet them to start to know them. I missed five years of their lives. And not because I was a junkie like my dad or off my meds like my mom. I didn't exist to them until I walked through the front door. And once I did, I had this family I never knew I had. It was insane.